I feel like every designer goes through this when they're learning how to use Figma and to design in Figma. When you discover the beauty and power of components, your mind is just blown. And that is what has happened to me over the last two weeks. I think I've been working too hard, you guys, because I've started dreaming in Figma. So I wake up and I've had dreams about creating components and instances and all this stuff and I'm just like, am I working too hard? <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the intro. As you know guys, my name's Karen and I'm trying to become a UX designer. For this week's video, I'm going to be reworking some of my components and I am going to let you guys watch me trial and error through it so that maybe you can learn from my experiences. So pretty much I created a bunch of different types of components. Like I have a primary button and then I made a variant component of that primary button. But I also created separate components for my secondary button, my arrow button, my text link buttons. They are, I think, um, four different types of components with their own variants. And what I was asked to do by my mentor was to combine the four components into one master component with several variants. Uh, that may not have made much sense, but just stay tuned, watch the video, and it'll kind of come to you as I move through it. I did figure it out, so you should be able to figure it out too. So as you can see right now, I have four groups of button components. And what my mentor has asked me to do is to combine all of these into one master component. And then after that, I'm going to create variants that represent these different types of buttons, but they all stem from the same single master component. And you might be asking yourself, why should I do this for? Well, the reason is it just simplifies things. Okay, so I started off by making a copy of all the icons that I need. So I need the arrow, the Google, and the Facebook icons. I put them over here, and I made them into components. Now I'm going to select all of these, make them into a component that is combined with variants. Perfect. Okay, so these are my icon features that will go inside the button. Um, you can change them based off of their name. Since they're all grouped together, I can just change the icon to whichever icon I desire. So that was um, the reasoning behind putting them together, just so I can switch between them. And now I'm making my master button. I just copied it from my original and relabeled the name and now I'm adding to it so that it has everything that I need for all my different variants. So first thing is my secondary buttons all have a stroke and so I need to add a stroke. I'll add a stroke here. The weight I think was three and just for now I'm gonna make the color my primary orange. I also need to make sure I have my icons in here too because I'm going to need them here, here, and here. So I'm just going to copy and paste it in. Okay, so there it is. And these ones are just text, so there's already text in here, so I don't need to do that. Uh, these buttons are wider, but all I have to do is change the size for later. And yeah, so I think I have everything that I need in my master. Now I'm going to manipulate the different features of my button to make my different button types. So I'm going to copy and paste this. Okay, so my master is still here. This one is my copy. That button looks like this. So I need to remove my icon. And I think I had a stroke, so I'm going to hide the stroke. And that's pretty much it. 
Now I'm going to make this into its own individual component, but it is still based off of this component. So why this is useful is if I decide like I hate this font and I want to change it, it will also change everything else that was based off of this main one. So that's why it's really useful. Okay. Now I'm going to make the tapped version of this. I want it to be my light orange. Perfect. I'm going to make this one a component. All right, next. I want to make my secondary button. I'm gonna copy it off of the master. All right. Um, so this one, I can hide my icon again. I will remove the or change the fill to white. Make my font orange. And yeah, that looks about right. And I made it into a component. And now, change color. So my stroke is now a light orange. And same with my writing. And then I'm gonna make it a component. Writing component. Next are my arrow buttons. Okay. Um, how should I do this? I think so. I have to remove my text, so I will unhide. I mean, I'll hide it, and then the icon stays there. Um, I'll change the radius so that it's rounder. Um, still a little big. I guess I should change the width. They are 50, so I will just put 50. There's probably a better way to do this, but I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna leave it at this for now. And now I will copy and paste. Okay, and this one is supposed to be my light orange. Oh, okay, stroke. Move the stroke. And everything looks about right. And now I'll make this one its own component. And just to make sure that everything's linked, I'm just going to change this arrow and see if the other ones change too. Um, yes! Yes, Karen! <laughs> now I'll make my skip buttons. I'm just going to use this one again. Copy, paste. Grabbing the right one, yes. Okay, so for this one, don't need the icons. Uh, the font is subtext. I need to underline it. So I'm gonna unlink this and add an underline. The font is supposed to be black. And then there's not supposed to be a background. So what do I do? Let me see. I guess I just remove here. Oh, oh, stroke. Okay, remove the stroke. Okay. Yes, that looks right. And then I'm gonna make it a component. Copy, paste. And then... Oh, I think I don't need a shadow because I didn't put shadows on these, so... Oh, there is a shadow. Okay. I'm not crazy. There we go. That looks right. Okay, and now I have to make my big span buttons. God. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Oh, I can't click it because I need it to fill container. Yes! Yes, Karen! Oh my god. I can't believe I got that right. I've been struggling with... Um, auto layout so very happy that I got that <laughs> okay so um, 
I have to change the size to, what was it? 230. 230. And great, everything looks great. I'm gonna make it a component and change the color. Wow, um, what do I do? Oh, here, okay. Perfect. Oh my god, this is going way better than I thought it would go. I thought this would be way harder, to be honest. And the last thing is my social media buttons. Sorry, so my video actually stopped recording, but what I did next was I made the social media buttons in the same way that I made uh, the, the other buttons. I turned them into components. And then what I did after, as you can see, there's a big box around here because I highlighted all of these. And then um, there was an option on the sidebar that said combine variants, which is what I did. And so now all of these are grouped together under this master. So the master is always the first one in the top left corner. So this is the master. So let's pretend, for example, that we have um, a frame like this phone and um, I need to have a sign in button as well as a next page button. So what I can do now is I can go to assets and my button is um, on this page. Um, but yes, so I can just drag this over and now because everything is grouped together, all I have to do is click here and everything's here. So I wanted um, a big span sign in button, which looks like this, and I want it to be untapped, so I can put it there. And let me just grab another one to make my next arrow. So it's under arrow, and there. So now everything is just in one place, which is awesome. As you know, um, the reason why we wanted to nest everything, like, the, this button was an instance of this one. Um, these ones were instances of these ones. Is because we want it so that if we change our mind about one element of a button, it'll change it for all of them. Let's say my button is um, too narrow. I want it to be fatter. There we go. Everything got fatter. This is amazing. If you made it to the end of the video, congratulations, you guys. I know we started off a little rocky and confused, but we eventually found our way, and that is all that matters. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That is the end of the video. I'll see you next time. Bye, and good luck.